the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap again, done on a Friday. The Saturday wrap for the 22nd of April 2023. And thank you to all the people who have been asking about my eyes. Yeah, I'm still wearing glasses, but they are, I think they're better. Um, the big test for me is the amount of gunk coming out of them in the morning, both sides. I would say practically nothing now. I'm going to give it another couple of days. It can't do any harm. Get the contacts back in. There is a mini Beano coming up. Lots of bank holidays approaching at the end of April and into May. Need my eyes working there. Need my whole body working there. My year, my year is slowly, slowly, slowly getting better, which is good. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, this is me burbling on about my past week. There's tech, there's politics, politics with a small p, um, there's lots of weather, and there's moaning about things. Anyway, let's start with the word or phrase of the week cold the maximum temperature today is nine degrees celsius that's february temperatures okay it was quite nice yesterday afternoon but the wind is from the north and when it's from the north it's cold and it's dry and it's cutting and next week isn't looking too good either i think in monday going into tuesday i think it's going to be very close to frost overnight yeah no really don't want that the app of the week well what a week to be perfectly honest um i could have had quite a few of them uh what did we have typeinator got updated uh trying to think of the other ones that got updated as well uh oh luma fusion yeah mind you and that is the app of the week luma fusion is what i use for editing video on the mobile yeah and they introduced multicam which means you can use multiple cameras synchronize them and switch between them in real time so they released it they didn't release it as an add-on which it was supposed to be because you have to pay extra for it oops really big oops but if you're looking for a mm, really good quality but paid for app that works on android and ipad os and ios and um, got too much of a learning curve uh luma fusion we're gonna have to cough for it because these things aren't free okay what else um oh yeah the thing of the week uh yesterday uh, i was going to tesco's i'll come back to that um and i was passing aldi and there was this guy on a mobility scooter with a cart behind it. And then I spotted him later, uh, going down the road very slowly, um, on with this cart behind him, and it had bags of grit in it. I've never seen anything like that. Um, I'm not sure whether you should have mobility sh scooters with carts on the road. Um, but he was, and it made me chuckle. It really did. Anyway, um, so those are my things, my word and my app of the week. Um, yeah. Okay, so last Friday, I have a new Beano plan. In fact, it's going to be my next Beano, which is next um, Saturday, MB05, Porter's Head. On my Pixel phone, if you swipe to the left, um, you get current news. And there was a thing in there about Cameras Bristol Pub of the Year in Porter's Head. So I had a look. It looks good. And there's a spoons round the corner. And I have actually stayed in the Premier Inn there in the past. But only in the Premier Inn. Didn't go anywhere else. I was coming back from Western Supermay and Western Supermay was full um premier in wise um so i stayed in porter's head so i'm looking forward to that that could be good and it's in line with my policy of new places okay um do you have prime video card series three episode nine absolutely excellent and number 10 the final one i I think it's the final one has been released today and i think it's an hour long 
and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's old school. It's going back to the Star Trek Next Generation. There are lots of Easter eggs in there. And it's the way it should be, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, last Saturday, frosty start. Very frosty start. This is why I say it's cold. I mean, frosty. Uh, right. And off to Newport, blogging of the beer. And with my old age pensioner's travel card, they no longer give out tickets. Just put your card on it. It turns green. No tickets. Sit down. Don't make a fuss which is what I did. And uh, later on, I saw a sign, um, which you wouldn't see when you're first getting on, um, saying we no longer give tickets off with concessionary t uh, cards. There you go. Sunday, grey. And another six tubers went in. Actually, I put another two in, was it last night or the night before? I can't honestly remember. Uh, I'm nearly done with the Casablancas. Uh, I soon will be starting on the Desirees main crop chips you know all that sort of thing oh yeah the third app that got updated drafts i've mentioned drafts before last year I had the pro version for 4.99 or was it 4.49 can't remember this quid a year 17 quid but i use it every day and it's updated regularly and that's what i like okay um yeah monday monday I know it shouldn't surprise me, but isn't it light early? Um, uh, light about half five in the morning. And I know I shouldn't be surprised because, oh, going to Hereford, oh, it's light about six. But this is peak Beano time. Peak early starting Beano time. Mind you, it was rather grey, so it wasn't that light, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what can you do? Um, Tuesday, earthing up. Hmm, yeah, yeah, that's fun. Um, and I'm going to need to earth up again because the ones in bags, the Casablancas, they're growing like the wind, really are. Wednesday, Reddit. Reddit and third-party apps, they are now going to be charging for their API access. So I possibly can see Apollo and Boost, which are the iOS and Android apps that I use, maybe going the same way as Tweetbot. Because... If Reddit charge them for an API access, then they're obviously going to charge us for it as well. Uh, Reddit's own app, a bit rubbish to be perfectly honest. Oh, right, yeah, also on Wednesday, mode lawn. Lawn looking good. If it's not raining on Sunday, scarification is going on. And maybe sit out there with a the trangia and have some burgers. Weather. I'm looking at you. Please be nice. But what can you do? Thursday, Luma Fusion. I finally got round to uh, releasing the subscription. Not subscription. You buy it outright. The update to Multicam. It was all over Twitter. And it was all over Reddit. Uh, you know, these things or whatever. And Thursday, also... Here's one of the things I missed coming over from Windows. In Windows, you can right-click on a folder, and as the desktop is a folder, you could right-click there, and you could create a new file. I usually like to collect, uh, create text files. You cannot do that on the Mac. I can now. Uh, I have an app, and it's called Right-Click New File, 199. Uh, Apple, if you're Sherlocking things, you should have Sherlocked that, not day one. Oh, up-to-date news. Who would have thought? Anyway, uh, also on Thursday, into Tesco's with the vouchers. In the past, scan card, present vouchers. Electronically, in the past, scan card, scan vouchers. Now, you have to add the vouchers to your card before you go in. Yeah, not the best way. And not very descriptive as well. So here's my tip of the day. If you have Tesco's vouchers and the app and you're not sure whether you're going to use them or not, add them to your card anyway. It just makes things a lot more easy. Or easier, I should say. And today, counting my blessings. Talking to people in the office I work with who are doing other jobs, definitely counting my blessings. And I finished early as well. 
so that was my week uh it was good it's getting near the end of the month so tomorrow will be uh, just a kafili and a brew monster because times are hard relatively hard um and uh, i think it's going to rain hope it does rain tomorrow not sunday because as i've mentioned you know gardening oh yeah but a lot more compost as well i need it for the small bags to put my um the Casablanca that are left and the Desiree and I'm beginning to waffle already so I'm going to get out of here and um, wave goodbye and say thank you for all the nice comments bye bye